Hello my YouTube friends and welcome for a new video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I've made uh, this like giant marble piece. Uh, I, I called it onyx flamboyant. Flamboyant means like colorful, like uh, with lots of energy in it. So I'm starting here with my background colors and I wanted to have like a neutral tone background color and I wanted to glaze my color after all um, after all the background is dry I wanted to yeah glaze the color blue and orange so here um, this is like the first time I'm using lots of water like a pouring painting background uh, I've also used my uh, blow uh, heat gun sorry to to hit the, the paint and it dries like this it creates lo lots of details and after that I'm going to cover everything with with a tra transparent color and you will keep the details behind it that's the magic of the color glazing so here I'm just accentuating some of the design that I want. I like to create as all of my work showing, uh, I like to create some shadows and lights like this. So this is my all time favorite technique. I use water and then acrylic and then I blend with a dry brush. Here I'm just highlighting some of the part to create some uh, 3D cracks showing and lights like you see on crystals and crystal marble. So here comes the time to glaze the, the color. Here I'm using my all-time favorite blue. This is the greenish blue from Amsterdam that I really like and I use it on, on almost all of my uh, blue paintings. Here you can see that the same color as I did on the uh, darker areas are not looking the same on the white areas. This is the this blue is really transparent, so yeah, you can really play with it. I'm also adding a little bit of green just to get that uh, teal color vibe. And here I'm accentuating the little shadow with some more blue. I've also added a little bit of black in it. I need to move back and forth my canvas and flip it over like this just so with my right hand I can have a better uh, view of what I'm doing and have also uh, some more space to work with my brushes so I'm going to move the canvas uh, many times in the video so I've completely sealed my first coat of glazing glazing sorry with uh, varnish and then I'm going over with a second coat of blue just to make the color more saturated so here is the fun part where I'm adding more orange. I love to use this combo. It is really complementing the blue. And yeah, I really like to use it. So I'm often using uh, the yellow ochre, but this time I'm going to use this uh, bright orange. I think it is from PBO. This is some regular acrylic, I'm not using any fancy acrylic, so yeah, if you want to know. I'm continuing to add details with my dark blue, just adding more lines and details. Here I'm, I'm accentuating the, the shadow that I've previously made with the brown just by color glazing the dark blue. So if you want to see the full video, I have my Patreon linked uh, down in the description where 
you will have all of the brands of the product that I'm using all of the tips and you will see the full video of this one uh, I made two part uh, video from the, for this one so here is the fun part where I'm highlighting my painting I try to focus on the opposite side where I added the shadows just to create some uh, kind of 3D effect I like to use this technique of wet brush and the brush that I'm using for my paint just to really blend the color and drag the pigment the brush I'm using here is called a paddle brush and it is really helpful when you want to have some nice blending like this you need to choose like a soft bristle brush like I have here so um, to go back on my patreon page uh, I got a comment saying oh you're you're sharing but not sharing at the same time yeah of course uh, you know it takes like years <laughs> to make this kind of video and edit the video it took me hours and YouTube is not paying as much as you can imagine uh, it is like nothing for me so yeah I'm sharing here and I'm sharing uh, larger video uh, courses on my patreon just so I can get a little something to continue and pursue my art journey so yeah I, I hope you will understand that so to get back on the video here I'm using some tape to mask uh, this area and create beautiful lines with my dark blue and you will also get this transparency and a large shadow that I really like and it creates like uh, a crystal effect here I'm using uh, a little a large sponge uh, with some acrylic uh, white acrylic and then I blend my color immediately when I'm applying the paint with the sponge and you will see here on a closer view what it creates it creates some little cells like you see on most marble uh, texture here I'm adding a little bit of yellow just to enhance the color also as um, the, this red oxide color that I really like to use uh, these days I'm just adding on some of the parts that uh, I have my uh, orange so here I've already made my 3d lines for the gold and I wanted to add some large uh, highlights just so it reminds a large crystal sphere because I'm working on a circle uh, canvas and I wanted to get this look uh, by adding those large highlights and again it is drying transparent as you see here so it's just creating like a fake uh, mirror mirror like stone and I, I'm also using here some tape this is a different one but the, uh, it don't matter it doesn't matter what tape you're using it's, it's just helping to get re a really sharp line like this so now I'm going to focus on adding the gold leaf on top of my lines and for, for this I'm using here the gilding paste from PBO you can also but the 3D gilding paste that PBO made um, I'm going to link you this product under uh, this video here I'm cutting my uh, little leaf because obviously they they not come cutting like this it, it comes in square so I'm cutting like little rectangles so I don't uh, have too much waste uh, of gold this is golden leaf this is not real gold this is made from aluminum 
and copper I think. So I'm just going to clean all of the, the gold dust like this and after that I'm going to see if it misses some details I'm going to add some more paint so yeah I'm adding here some little details that I thought was missing on the center piece of this work I wanted to do the opposite like drawing with my uh, painting sorry with my brush some little holes like this So after uh, like three coats of varnish, I'm going to show you the finish painting right now. And here it is, we are in my garden showing you from the sunlight my new painting. Hope you've liked this video. Comments if you have any question and yeah, if you want to support my channel, you can uh, check my Patreon page. I wish you all a great day and see you. Bye. Bye, guys.